So now in this video we're going to look at a circuit I came up with to use with the uh, 5 volt LED right here, 1 watt LED I should say. So I soldered on wires to the module there, it has a resistor to limit current with 5 volts and we have this uh, quick release and uh, quick connect connector right there. All I got to do is squeeze it, I can move the wires whenever I want or add them. But in any case, there we go. This is a 555 timer wired in monostable mode. The LED is going to be on for somewhere around 5 seconds it looks like when I press the button. Don't look at it directly if you have one of these, it's it's really bright. Um, but in any case, I'm not uh, turning it on and off directly with the 555 timer. I have an NPN bipolar junction transistor because this will let more current through it than what should go through the output of the 555 timer. And zooming into the schematic that I drew, I actually copied the uh, monostable mode 555 timer from an earlier video, so I have some extra notes. Um, I changed the uh, values of the components though for uh, this video. And we have it in monostable mode, which means we close the switch, that gives a low signal to pin two. And uh, we gotta release the switch uh, before the timing's done. But in case, that will set the output high and start the capacitor charging. So the values of these two components determines the charge time. Higher values take longer, smaller values are quicker. But in uh, any case, I just saw probably somewhere close to five volts. It took for the capacitor to charge two thirds supply voltage. That's when the output's high and the transistor is on. We'll talk more about that uh, coming up. But in uh, any case, once it gets two thirds supply voltage, output goes low and pin 7 connects ground, capacitor instantly discharges. That's the timing part. Basic monostable 555 timer stuff. So now zooming in a little closer, we have the NPN bipolar junction transistor. I'm using the 2N2222 because it can handle a maximum of uh, 600 milliamps of current through the collector, which also goes through down to the emitter right there. 2N3904 has a limit of uh, 200 milliamps of current. That's the maximum. Same with the output of the 555 timer. That's why we have the 2N2222. It can handle about 600 milliamps of current flowing through it when it is on. So now when I say 600 milliamps of current, that's collector to emitter. I'm not sure the maximum current you should put from base to emitter, so I just used a 1.5K ohm resistor. That ended up limiting current to somewhere about 160 milliamps. When I had a 1K 1000 ohm resistor, it was letting about 200 milliamps through. And uh, the module, I think we got up to like 230 when we just put it to the power supply. So I'm not sure the maximum we could get with the transistor. Uh, but for this demonstration video, I thought it'd probably be best just to go with 1.5K right there and get about 160 milliamps through the LED module. And to end the video, we'll take a closer look at uh, the circuit here. So um, I meant to say about five seconds looks like it's a little shorter than that the LED is on when we press the button I said five volts also another thing uh, we got a little jumper right there hopefully you can see that um, but otherwise everything else should be pretty obvious how I have it wired we have the 2 on 22 22 right there flat sides to the right which means we have collector on top base in the middle and emitter down at the bottom there headed to ground so in any case that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.